Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Smitty here and uh, I have a video here uh, on this video. I'm going to be talking about, you know, 2K Sports and is this potentially the end of uh, the 2K Sports uh, division, you know, of 2K games, you know. Uh, it would be sad to see the company go, but the way it's looking right now, it's not really looking that good. Uh, but I want to start off by reading this section of this article um, on Kotaku in regards to the MLB 2K series. Uh, and in quotes it says here, um, Our legacy Major League Baseball agreement will sunset in fiscal 2013, a text two spokesmen said. Meaning in the coming 12 calendar months, MLB 2K12 is our last offering under that agreement. So... Listening to that, it sounds like pretty much that it's a wrap on the 2K baseball. And what was said further in the article um, was that after they had a conference call later that day, they said that they expect the losses associated with the game to be 50% less in the coming fiscal year and zeroed out in the following year. So when you're speaking along those kind of lines in regards of a product you're pretty much letting that thing letting it go and you're cutting all ties with it and just letting it drift off to the sunset by itself and that you know this is what it's saying I mean the writings on the wall here in regards of that series and you have other series that took that same demise like NHL and the college hoops 2k series you know what I'm saying? Uh, both of those games either didn't sell well or just got outperformed to the point where they were operating in the, in the negative. With, uh, you know, in terms of production and, you know, production and, and promotion and everything else along with it. So, but as we look here, and we could look and see, well, how come they've produced so many MLB 2k games and it's because it said further in the article that after that point that there was a deal they had made uh prior to the management from a previous management regime at take two interactive uh they made a seven year deal with the mlb uh a 30 million dollar deal to make games over set over those years so that's why you've had all those games but now you look at now look at you have MLB on its way out and like I said earlier NHL college and college hoops all took the plunge they tried boxing that was a terrible effort uh, they do tennis what once every three years or what have you but that game is not exactly a huge blockbuster seller so, I mean, the only game that you have that's really keeping them afloat is 2K Basketball. You know? And, of course, we all know we everybody everybody under the sun is screaming out, bring back 2K Football. Bring back 2K Football. But the problem is, is Take-Two honestly going to make that investment? That's the thing. Are they scared to make that investment? seeing what happened the last time you know cuz let's 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 think about this for a moment let's realistically look at this when EA bought out the rights everybody was mad always oh, everybody was screaming out then we want a 2k football game bring back 2k football we want 2k football to come back we want it we want it they brought it back and only 410,000 people bought the game People were people were crying out, screaming out, 2K, 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 come back. Just like what's happening now. People saying it in YouTube videos and everything. But yet, look what happened a few years ago. When they did that, went back in two, before 2007, like I said, yeah, 2005, 2006, and, and until the summer of 2007, you had people screaming and hollering, oh, 2K, need another game, all that. So... Is history so from from a from a management standpoint? If I'm at Take Two Interactive, is this a worthy investment? Seeing that when the public screamed and, and hollered for it, and we provided it, they didn't buy it. So when you look at it from that from the, from the realistic management standpoint, you can't help but to under you have to come to grips with the fact that 
they provided and no one bought it now mind you take two interactive shot them and 2k shot themselves in the foot because number one they had no franchise mode that that would have sold them a million copies offhand but no franchise mode and number two horrible promotion they spent too much money in making a soundtrack to the game and getting artists hip-hop artists in the game and promoting hip-hop in most of their advertisements instead of promoting football you showcase hip you you do a 30 second spot you're showcasing 20 seconds of 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 hip-hop you're showing 20 seconds on a on an mc or on a particular rapper and then 10 seconds of gameplay and then flashing up all pro football like you can't do ads like that you need to showcase what the game's about what what's the detail of the game and sell it sell what's in the game don't sell the soundtrack that's affiliated with the game or the artist that's featured on the game that was the mistake they made and that's why that game didn't sell you know what i'm saying but to go from that point here this is the other this is the other thing are these guys either a gonna let the door shut on 2k sports because 2k because this is a problem nba live is coming out this year now if nba live now 2k said now ronnie 2k you know he on twitter ronnie 2k said he got something he got some big announcement coming in a few weeks from 2k in regards to their nba 2k 13 game so we got to wait and see what they're talking about in terms of that. But outside of that, is there going to be another football game? Or are they just going to let this game ride out and ride it until the wheels fall off? Because NBA Live's coming back. And they're going to have direct competition. Now, depending upon how solid NBA Live is, you're going to have a lot of people who were live fans that jump ship to 2k they're going to jump right back on board with live if the game's just halfway decent you know and plus the online issues the online gameplay problems are those going to be fixed because 2k normally has i mean excuse me ea normally has good servers so if your server's bad and you got an online community that's been putting up with the play online issues for all these years and they and if 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 NBA Live is is looking semi legit, they're gonna jump ship, and now you you're losing no sales. The sales that are keeping your company afloat from your main project, your main sport project, now all those numbers are being pulled away. And guess what? Your company's gonna go down further and further, and then. What's going to end up happening is the doors are going to mess around and close on the 2K sports division. You know what I'm saying? Now, just to let people understand, I'm not talking about 2K games on an overall. I'm just saying 2K sports. Just the sports division. So there is a difference. So, so what's going to happen? Now, I personally believe that they're going to come out with another 2K football game whether it's got an NFL license or not I, I believe that they'd be better off with it being unlicensed and just make it fully customizable with a franchise mode you know what I'm saying and an online franchise mode of some sort or what have you and um, it's going to be a game fused with uh, the euphoria technology in their game you know, and 2K, it's going to be a 2K natural motion collaboration. And that would be one of the most epic football games ever to be released. That's what I honestly believe would be like one of the last tricks that 2K got chilling up their sleeve. You know what I'm saying? Because if they don't do that and they don't get back to their bread and butter, because their best games are no disrespect to the hockey and the baseball and the tennis and all that but their best games are football and basketball if they don't get back to the football they might as well like I said it could be a wrap in a few years on 2k sports that's just and this is this is the reality you know what I'm saying so like I said in, or like I said earlier in regards to 2k football people screamed and hollered and everything else about a 2k game and that happened several years ago. They they screamed and hollered, 
And when the game came out, 400,000 people bought it. So what's going to happen? You know what I'm saying? In the future, who knows? Is Take-Two going to be brave enough to, to, to step out there and take that chance again? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. You know, but in the meantime, like I said, you know, in 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 comparing to EA and saying, oh, they bought out the rights and they did this and they did that, EA did plenty wrong. But the thing that you got to keep in mind is that Take Two Interactive still could have produced a game. They could have produced a football game. You know what I mean? So, like I said, you got to bear the reality in mind. Like I had stated earlier about that, you got to bear all these things in mind. So. Hopefully, I, I shed a little bit of light on the subject matter in regards to this here. Because thing is, when the community demanded 2K to come out, when and they delivered it, nobody, practically no one bought it. You know what I'm saying? They went from their last game in, in uh, what, NFL 2K5 selling 4 million copies to selling only 400,000. You know what I'm saying? So... Clearly, I can understand why they held back. But, like I said, we'll see what happens in the future. You know, I'm just looking to see whatever comes out. Hopefully, there's another game because I would hate to see 2K Sports uh, doors honestly close. So, uh, on that note, you guys, this is your boy Smitty. And it's a wrap. Peace.